Whoa, Potter's Journal, I don't believe it! 100 subscribers! Oh, wow, and this all, as I just in the last two videos, rediscovered the wheel. Um, in the next two videos, I'm going to rediscover a wheel in another way, too. Okay, let's get a closer look at that. 100 subscribers and over 10,000 views now, too. Um, special thank you to Matt Murray for doing that. Nice group of people you subscribe to. I'm so sorry there's not a giveaway, but this is not that kind of channel. No giveaway, but come on, I've been sharing my journal pages every week here now. Here's a very first one you haven't seen. Um, look at that. I must have been first grade, I think. Um, let's see what else is here. Okay, this one, okay, a sculpture one from when I was doing sculpture for 20 years. Um, I am not sharing these with you because, uh, oh, here we go, some sketches. This one filled with sketches. The um, one I'm sharing with you now, I open all the pages of because you've seen them one at a time. Um, when I was doing landscape sketches here, okay, but landscape sketches today would not just have the landscape, but signs um, and uh, uh, billboards. Okay, and oh, okay, here, this one with um, 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 two images, um, two, uh, every page with two watercolors based on a similar subject theme or landscape. Um, and I present my uh, videos that way now, too, that we don't fill, finish a story in one video, that they are sequential. Okay, here, look at there I am, back in 1980-whatever, um, when I was doing watercolors. And, okay, this is probably the most complete of my sculpture sketchbooks. And I would like to eventually start doing some of this and adding it to uh, the video journal in the summer. Why Potter's Journal? Well, my dictionary is so old, I looked up Potter's vlog, but it, w the word vlog wasn't in there. Let's see what's going on in the studio. Just like that first video, let's see what's going on in the studio today. Except not quite as timid, and I've got a lot happening. Okay, here, well, this will be tomorrow, Sunday's video. Um, that, um, 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 yeah, okay, just pop back and see. Um, things are moving along here. I've got a lot of stuff going. I don't share at all. Mugs back there. Um, I'm getting the um, bun pans glazed. But I've got my wheel here set up at an odd angle around the corners of this bench so that I can reach up to it um, to grab different tools, to line up, put my clay on there. So it's an unusual setup, but I'm not, you know, facing into a corner or lined up against a wall. Coming up, I've got some new glazes, and I got out some old ones that I had abandoned in the truck. Um, so that's coming up. Okay, here, and this was um, just amazing to rediscover the wheel. This thing had been buried here for so long. Um, I am so glad to have got this out and used it again. It is a bit rickety, so if you don't see me using it, I do want to get some paint on it and refurbish a bit and restore it just so it doesn't deteriorate. The bottom, I think, is a little bit rotten in spots, so I do need to get a good look at it, but that was just incredible. I couldn't believe what happened on that day, and so much was working against me for that day to happen. The fact that it did, I just will not forget that day. Okay, and uh, let's see what's in the kiln today. It is just some standard wear, some things from last year that didn't get um, 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 fired. And um, probably the biggest of the, oh, the um, um, funny fluted bowls. This was one of my first YouTube pots.
Um, you know, see, it was a form and a shape that I didn't know existed back in the um, 80s and early 90s when I was making pots. So this was a discovery and fun for me. But um, I've moved on now to the jug series. That's going to be um, something we'll be getting back to. And what else is in here? Okay, yeah, just some standard wear um, that... Um, I haven't shared this all with you because, yeah, we've seen my pie plates before. Okay, yeah, we have to pay the bills, too. Been on the skis. I hope to get on the snowboard this year, but I've been sharing short little food clips that relate to pottery instead of uh, the outdoor stuff this year. I'm doing um, 100 mugs. But, um, and about, um, th about four different styles, but I haven't really posted any of that. I don't want you to think that's all I do is make mugs. Um, and I'll be called the Mug Channel. Okay, and the wood really went down during that cold spell. Um... So, but uh, the studio, I've cleaned it out compared to when I first started. I dug out that wheel. Um... Uh, it has to be shared with, you know, the farm, farm work, too, and supplies. Hey, Anne, who is looking to get in? Okay, come on, Ralph. I know you're not wanting to uh, share an Ellie celebration. When I start talking the camera, you usually give a big yawn. So, is it Bernard Leach who all the pictures of him at the wheel were in a jacket and a tie? Um, well, I won't be doing that, but... Um, uh, it has been a real adventure. Um, the um, this is the second year of posting, but the third year of making videos. Since I was uh, a bit timid about uh, posting them until there was a year, but um, um, the very first ones, first you know, at first I had to stand in front of, or first I had to talk to a camera, then I had to stand in front of it, and then I realized I had to work in front of it, um, and then the pottery too. I guess at some point. Um, um, it's been about um, reviving skills that I once had. Um, I'm still not there yet, but at some point I may have to, um, um, you know, quit saying I'm reviving because it's, I guess I, I, I have done something and gotten back to, you know, at least some skill level. That um, this was an incredible thing to find and dig out. Um, this was covered with, there was clay stack to here and there was stuff up to here. There was um, bits of old 2x4s and drywall from other projects stacked on it. Um, the big thing is thank you for the subscriptions, thank you for the comments, even if you just left one. Um, it's nice for me to know who you are. Um, and um, the, the encouragement, but um, um, a special thanks for all of that because I think at this point, I would only be making mugs and pie plates and berry colorers if it wasn't for your subscriptions and watching in the comments that um, I'm a mile back a dead end dirt road. I have nobody to show us potters. Um, yeah, I have to go into Pittsburgh to talk to other potters. So um, by uh, knowing that you're watching gives me another reason to you know, push the envelope a bit to not just make mugs and pie plates and berry colanders. Um, so, um, thank you for the encouragement and the comments and the subscriptions. I was not ready for this. I just got back from the flea market that I go to once a month. Um, I still have a lot of the pumpkin I grew for myself. myself. I will incorporate that into the next ceramic project. Um, I'd lay okay, and if you are close by, I picked up a whole case of grapefruit here. Um, leave a comment or call me, and um, okay, stop by for um, a pottery celebration, and we'll have some really good, nice, fresh grapefruit. I'll send you off with one. Big start was finding the 31 year old bisque jugs in a drawer, little miniatures, and that first kiln load, um, seeing what looked like flame flashing um, on um, out of an electric kiln. Um, my first um, YouTube pot, that scalloped bowl. Um, first big project, the double handled bowls. Um, the um, bird bath top. 
Um, made out of brick clay, a bonsai pot. Okay, most popular, most watched video, 1,000 views, 1,500. Um, not a great video, but I think something authentic came out that I was discovering something and that that um, came out true in the, and ringed. Um, true in the video. Um, um, showing off my old kiln shed housed in the old truck body. Um, yeah, the visit to my nursery and the garden sculpture there. Garden garden art, I'll say. Um, okay, the uh, first year at the south side of Storic Village. Uh, I try to put something in the wood oven there every year in addition to making pottery and working with the other artisans. Um, um, I did have some, some of my sculpture a little bit presented in the music medallion mugs and matching sculpture and then the next video uh, music horn sculpture and matching mugs. Um, my first travels videos um, to Seagrove, North Carolina, Jugtown Pottery um, and nobody watched hardly the North Carolina Ceramic Center, my visit there. Um, also not well received, my dinnerware set series. Maybe, uh, you know, we could all predict the outcome, but it was also a very cold studio. My teeth were chattering and um, it was difficult to make and do, so that um, probably made them not uh, pleasant videos to watch. Um, the face mugs, the first face mugs, big discovery, and the Pottery Apprentice, um, my niece Julia, she'll be hopefully back this year. Um, that was fun, um, bringing her into the studio. Uh, taking some special orders, uh, the goblets, um, and um, collecting. Um, pieces I've collected over the years, uh, Steve Booten piece, um, and my most recent video. Okay, here is one. Um, glazing large bowl, special equipment, wild ride. I just had to throw myself into that project. It was a disaster, but um, you know, maybe uh, um, entertaining to watch. Um, yeah, a lot of fun with the Pottery Apprentice, her grandmother, my mother, the weaver, a couple videos with her. Um, I can't uh, be in the studio year-round. A second year at the village, historic village, with the yarn lady. Um, and we both used and made a yarn bowl. And she helped me redesign it. I will never make them uh, the same again. They'll always be her design. The beginning of the jug series. Um, 101. All will be different. This first part um, built up to the face jugs. I'll get that going in the next video. Again, the jug series. Uh, I will do a visit once a year at the Tarpon Springs in Florida, where hopefully I will pick up and buy some uh, elephant ear sponges and some other natural sponges. I don't do this year round, so um, um, it's a farm and nursery. I will do uh, some uh, wreath making videos once a year. Uh, first travel series, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Unfortunately, not many video clips, mostly stills. But um, any more traveling I'll do, hopefully, yeah. Um, this year was a big new start for me again. Um, I was starting to feel comfortable in my shoes again at what I was doing, both with the videos and with the pottery. So um, I think that's come across in the videos, and they've been a little better received. And there we go. Thank you, 100 subscribers. And if you haven't, please do.